Good morning and happy International Women's Day. We are celebrating and honoring women all across the world on this beautiful holiday. And today we're celebrating and honoring the wonderful, fierce wonder women at Young Women's STEAM Academy at Baltimore Springs. And we're here with Principal Dixon. Good morning. We are so excited that you are joining us today and excited to introduce you to some of our wonder women and wonder staff. Awesome. Thank you so much for having us. Guys, I'm so excited about this episode. This school is incredible. They're doing incredible things. And first, just tell us about the amazing academics and all the awards you have going on. So we are known for academic excellence. We take pride in pushing every young lady here to their full potential. We have a rating of an A, a grade of a 90 from the state, and we have five out of seven academic distinctions. We also have a rating of accomplished from Dallas ISD. It is the highest rating, and we are the only comprehensive middle school in DISD with that honor. Fantastic, and congratulations. Thank you. That is so awesome. Thank you. Our girls do a great job here. Love it. And I think we actually have some students right over here. I'd love for you to meet them. Awesome. Ladies, can you introduce yourselves? Yes. Hello, my name is Ruby Solis, and I'm an 8th grade student ambassador here at YWSA. And my name is Shizea Murphy, and I'm also an 8th grade student ambassador here at YWSA. Awesome. Ladies, tell us what do you love about YWSA? Why is it one of the best schools in Dallas? Um, in my opinion, I think it's one of the best schools just because of our academics. They are outstanding, and one of the facts that we are an all-girls school that you don't really see that around and I think we just have grown so much I've been here through six and eight and I've also seen myself grow and I think that's one of the biggest parts that why do we say has to bring for the girls here um, the academic opportunities that they give us um, we have more opportunities than some of the two gender schools have and for instance we have National Junior Honor Society, AVID, um, certain things that can help us throughout high school and college. Like um, I'm a president of the National Junior Honor Society. I've also been in the Math and Science Club where we do a lot of things and programs over math and science. And I'm also in band also. So that's a great thing for us and it's a great opportunity for us girls to be in. Of that well-rounded women. Okay, are you also involved in some yes, extracurriculars? Um, I am the AVID and Student Council President, and I also play many sports here at Why Do We Say. We do have basketball, soccer, track and field, softball, cross country. I've been team captain for most of those sports, and right now I am team captain for so the softball team. So let me just clarify, you play every single sport offered here yes, at YWSA. I mean, yes. How do you do it? You are a wonder woman. <laughs> Thank you. It's just the time management I do. We also learned that here, how to like take care of you know our time management because in high school and college, I feel like I'm actually ready right now because I, especially in AVID, our college readiness class, it has taught us a lot. So I think the time management has helped me a lot with all these sports and all, all the clubs I'm in and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, this school, they don't really just teach us about how to be young girls. They also teach us how to be women as we grow up because you never know what we're going to be like when we grow up, how we're going to live our lives so they always make sure we're grounded and we stay in our space and learn how to be women. I love it. So are you going to be running for pre the presidency in however, however many years? <laughs> okay, well I can't wait. You can count on my vote. Okay. <laughs> um, now we're up to the demand. Mm -hmm.
one of the things that we pride ourselves on doing as one of only three single gender schools in Dallas ISD is making sure that we devote time to helping our young ladies become college and career ready and also equipping them with leadership skills and confidence boosting skills. We do a lot of that through our house program that's designed by our staff. Awesome, can you tell us about the house program? So my name is Juliana and I'm an eighth grade student ambassador here at YWSA. So these are our six houses and they're named by our Greek goddesses and each six weeks our scores are calculated by our girls' core values. And what house are you in? So I'm in Gaia and we have been um, two times two time champion two years in a row. Awesome. Great, can you tell us about your experience too? Um, I'm not, my name is Tiffany Zavala and I'm an eighth grade ambassador at YWSA. And I'm actually in Athena, and this year we won the Girl Bosses competition, and the experience, the experience is actually awesome. We get to socialize a lot with different types of girls, and it's just amazing. I overall. love it. Fantastic. All right, um, real quick, what do you love about YWSA, and why do you think everyone should come here? Well, I just love that we're all girls. Everybody's, like, supporting each other, and it's just an amazing experience to be with, like, the same level of learning that you are. Yeah, I, the same thing. I love that we're all girls and you don't really have to worry about anything and it's not like boys around here disturbing you. And I've really seen myself grown. That's why I, I suggest you should come here. Awesome. Thank you, ladies. You're doing fantastic work. Thank you. Fierce ladies. So in addition to the students here, one of the things that we pride ourselves on is making sure culture counts at YWSA. Mm -hmm. We make sure all of our staff members know how important it is to engage our students in the classroom and out of the classroom with what we call special skills. And we take that same spirit when we try to engage our community and our parents. We have a couple of them here too. Yeah. Would you like to introduce yourself? My name is Carmen Peterkin. I'm a parent and I'm also a teacher here at YWSA, U.S. History, 8th grade. Awesome. Okay, what do you love about YWSA for your student? For my student, uh, they're willing to take chances and step out and ask questions whether they know they're wrong or right. They, they take more chances when the boys aren't here. Uh, I ta taught here when it's co-ed. The girls, they would shy back and let the boys take you know, the, the lead in history. Mm -hmm. And so when we did split here and the boys went to Florence, I wanted to go with the boys. But staying here with the girls, we have shot up and the girls take chances, they're leaders. Uh, it's a, almost like a family environment in the classrooms. And we love it here as, as teachers. We're like a, a family and we talk about the girls and, and, and see how we can help them. And the girls don't have a problem with coming to us and we're just open here. I love it. Okay, and earlier you were telling me about like, like you're in the top four. We're in the top four in the district. Love it. Yeah. So okay. Girls rocking history. <laughs> rocking it. Fierce women. Okay. Tell us also, what do you love about being a parent here? I love being a parent here because my daughter, she struggled before coming here. When she got here, she did a, a complete turnaround. She plays sports. Uh, she takes leadership roles. Uh, she, she did announcements for a, a short time. She, she loves it here. And I'm, I'm trying to see how she's going to move on to, to high school. But we, she has that leadership and plan in her because of the strong teachers here. Uh, and she's just blossomed in all departments. Love it. Thank you so much. And all right, we have another parent right here. Can you introduce yourself, please? Hi, I'm Juana Razo. I'm a three-year parent here and also a volunteer, also PTA, uh, I'm sorry, PTO president. Um, I love the warm feeling you get when you walk in here, the welcoming feeling. I also love the fact that uh, all staff's um, environment and teachers, they're all empowering. Awesome. How has your daughter thrived since being here? Oh, she's matured at 100%. She's blossomed a lot. My daughter was very shy, didn't like to participate in any extracurricular activities. But um, here you have so many things from choir to dance to uh, sports that she's just, the teachers are so open to working with any kind of student, whether they're shy or out there. So she's, she's really blossomed a lot and she's participated in a lot this year, these past three years. Love it. Thank you so much, ladies, and being fierce examples to the young women. So Ms. Razo, Ms. Razo mentioned some of those extracurricular activities that we have, and one of the things our art students do here is they decorate the building. So all of our decorations pretty much are done by our amazing students. We have some of our 3D designs done by uh, art students, and then we have some girls working on their women's empowerment designs as well. 
Awesome. Would anyone like to tell me about their design for women's empowerment? <laughs> Go for it. Tell us about it. It's like it just like motivates women to like do whatever they want to do. and it encourages them to do good things in life. Yeah. What are some of your dreams, hopes, and aspirations as a woman? So like be noticed that I make a difference in the world. Something. Absolutely. That's fantastic. This is beautiful work, ladies. Great work. Some of the students here are some of our first ever art students from the school who just got accepted into Booker T. Washington High School for the performing and visual arts. And they're part of a group of about six or so girls this year from band, choir, um, and this campus who got that honor. That's wonderful. I love it. Okay, tell us about what is it? Yeah, so y'all came on house day. And like the girls were telling you, house is when we kind of let loose a little bit on Fridays. We shave off a little bit of instructional time so that we can compete mm -hmm. um, within the groups that we've been working on for about 10 weeks and all those things. So house just isn't a competition, it is an everyday chance to exhibit our core values, which are what, ladies? Oh, growth, innovation, responsibility, and search. <laughs> there we go. So our, our staff members, everyone gets tickets each month. Anytime you catch any of our young women exhibiting those core values, they get a ticket, the girls drop them in the box, the tickets go up. First house that gets 100, it, comes down, we pull names, draw for prizes, and then we start the competition all over again. Beautiful. Okay, great. And in the auditorium is actually our fashion for show competition today. These girls have been working together for 10 sessions. Um, several of them didn't know each other before they started, but they start off with a team building activity in September, and then they get to work with cardboard, newspaper, plastic bags, and they design, design who's going to be, um, decide who's gonna be the model, design five pieces of clothing, and it culminates into this. All right, let's see, I'm so excited. probably like, how do I get my daughter here? Tell us, So, please. on behalf of my awesome A-team uh, and all of our staff and students at YWSA, we are an amazing neighborhood school who really takes joy and pride in cultivating the next generation of female leaders. So girls and parents, if you reside in the Samuel and Spruce High School theater pattern, we cannot wait to have you here. And if you don't, we can't wait for you to apply for a spot here at YWSA. Awesome. Okay, guys, tag people. Tag your friends who you think might be interested in coming here. Comment on this. Share it away. Like, let's just share the amazing things that are happening here. Um, happy International Women's Day, and we will see you after spring break. Bye. Bye.